This is Hebrews chapter 10 and 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into a quick lesson. It's not going to be nothing too spectacular. Just something real brief. <clears throat> and, um... Well, basically, we have, you know, there's certain guys, you know, <clears throat> IUIC calling us bums, talking about, you know, we're bums. All right. Basically, because we don't have, we're not abundant in this world's goods. All right. But, you know, as the Lord says, man, um, let me get another scripture. This is uh, Matthew 19 and 24. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, right? And that eye of a needle is basically uh, uh, talking about an underpass <clears throat> that was in the Holy Land where um, you had to take uh, the things, uh, any baggage off the camel and uh, the camel would have to kneel down all right, to get underneath that uh, underpass. All right, it was called the eye of a needle. Because, you know, that's how you thread a needle. You know, you put the, it's like kind of over, under, like looping th um, thing. But it uh, symbolizes uh, humbling yourself and um, basically sacrificing everything. You know, Paul had the um, mentality, you know, he counted everything dumb. His status as a Pharisee and, you know, whatever fame he may have garnered he, he or, or wealth that he um, may have had, he counted it all dung for the riches of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. <clears throat> so the just shall live by his faith, man. All right. And what does the Lord say? Hold on. This is James 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world? rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. Right. <clears throat> okay. So here at Great Millstone, we're, um, we're investors in the spiritual riches, which are the true riches. All right. <clears throat> we're not, the scripture says, lay not up for yourself, um, treasures in heaven, man. All right. Scripture says, if riches uh, increase, set not your heart upon them. <clears throat> you know, because riches get themselves wings. All right. Um, as the scripture says, you know, we put our money in a bag full of holes. All right. Because hey, as soon as you get get some money, then here comes that bill. All right. Here comes some more issues and problems that are that arise. All right. You know, <clears throat> and this money is fake anyway. All right. You know, scriptures, uh, the Lord talks about a false balance, man, and a just, a just weight is his delight, man. The American dollar is a false balance. It's, it's pretty much fraud. So if you if you count these things to be riches, or as the scripture says, you've sold yourself for naught, man. But we shall be redeemed without money, okay? So it's not going to be riches that redeem us, and this, this place is not even real riches, man. All right? Matter of fact, let me get another scripture. <clears throat> right and yeah man <laughs> you know so the riches of this world man they're not riches at all man you know Yahweh Bashim Shah has showed us uh, what's really valuable alright you know cause Christian says riches profit not in the day of wrath and we're entering into Jacob's trouble man alright <clears throat> Scriptures also say the love of money is the root of all evil, man. While some coveteth after uh, <clears throat> have erred from the faith, man. All right. It says they have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And pretty soon you're physically literally going to pierce yourself, man, with that uh, C hit, man, that MOTB, man. All right. Okay. The mark of the beast, man. All right. Because we got the true breakdown on that, man. 
and that's coming down the pike, man. All right, so, <clears throat> you know, and, and what the scripture says, uh, uh, you know, it talks about these men that boast in their riches. The Lord said, what? No, it's not that they are poor, blind, and naked, okay? All right, because you're not, you know, um, matter of fact, I, um, I'll come back to this scripture, man. Hold on. This is Luke 12 and 16. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought himself, he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and goods, right? <clears throat> Because that's the mentality of um, these kind of men, man. All right. They're, they're complacent. All right. Okay. They don't believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah would do good or do evil, man. All right. So it's fully setting them to, to, to do wickedly, man. They don't believe fat meat, is, fat meat is greasy, so to speak, man. You know, I remember <laughs> my OG saying that. You know, that's something old... <laughs> Old, old black women say, man, you know, they don't believe fat meat is greasy, man. But yeah, how about Shemiah Shah is going to catch these, he's going to punish the men that are settled on their leaves, man. Because these men are complacent. They don't believe yeah, how about Shemiah Shah is going to do anything. They don't believe in the words of yeah, how about Shemiah Shah that are spoken through the prophets and the warning that are, are given thereby. Okay. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up. For many years, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Right. And then, and you now you got these community Israelite, these family Israelites, you know, and, you know, we're going to start a community here. You know, I remember ISBK saying we got to build a kingdom within this kingdom, you know. These, these are the people where it talks about in the book of Ezekiel. Uh, they have the mindset that the vision is afar off, man. All right. This city is the uh, the cauldron we, with the flesh, which, you know, they're basically saying that we're just going to chill here, man. We're not going to see Jacob's trouble, man. You know, we're not going to see the sword and famine, man. All right. See, they have the mentality of going back to Egypt. This is the same generation, man. All right, they they want to go back to Egypt, man. And the scripture says we, that a, the king should not cause the people to go to return to Egypt, man. All right. So that the entire mindset has to be rebuked because it's the mindset of the devil, man. What the scripture says is uh, inward thought is that his houses uh, shall continue forever, man. See, you people haven't been given a, a gift of faith, man. All right? And speaking of faith, faith is the true wealth. Faith is the true riches, man. All right? Matter of fact, let me grab that scripture since I was going to get it anyway. Um, yeah, this is it right here. All right? This is uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 5. Um, and ere the present years were sought out, and ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were sealed, they gathered faith for a treasure, right? <laughs> yeah, and those that are sealed are the ones that are going to have faith, and are going to gather faith for a treasure, man. See, what we're seeing is men, uh, uh, unbelieving men, guys who were, you know, uh, returning to the Lord feignedly, right? We're seeing them to increasing into more wickedness, man. We're seeing them increase in more ungodliness, all right? But at the same time, the elect are increasing more and more in the way of truth and gathering more faith. See, the Lord lets you niggas accumulate millions of dollars, thousands of dollars, some of you, man, all right? He lets you guys have that. But that's not the riches. You're poor. You're broke, man. You're poor. You're blind. You're naked. And you're wretched, man. You're not rich towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, as the scripture I just read, man. 
Okay. Let me, I want to get that scripture again, actually, man. All right. Right. Because I don't know if I even read the last part. This is uh, Luke 12 and, 12 and 20. But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who sh shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasures for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh. Right. And Yahweh Bashmi al Shah hates a proud man, man. He hates a, 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 a rich man that, that, uh, that, uh, that brags about, um, matter of fact, um, excellency. Uh, bear with me. All right. This is uh, Amos 6 and 8. Yahweh power have sworn by himself, saying, Yahweh power of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob, and I and hate his palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. Right? And that happened in the past. It's going to happen again, man. All right? And you people, uh, uh, as scriptures talk about a, a, one particular city, uh, Capernaum, the yeah, Lord talks about how it shall be brought down to hell, man. It was, and that was obviously a lofty city. You probably had a lot of rich jakes in that in that city, man. Very well off, affluent niggas, man. You know, boule type niggas you see today. You know, you, you sell out niggas, man. You know that have taken that bag, man. Well, you're gonna fall right with your devil, man. The scripture says, "Though hand and joy in the hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, man." All right, he that helping. Uh, shall fall and they both shall fail together, man. So you're going to fall right with your daddy because you are of your father, the devil. And you, for you niggas that claim to be Israelites, man, all right, and you despise, matter of fact, um, this is what the Lord said about you. Despise. You know, these are the same uh, 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 niggas, man, coming back. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Right. Um, this is James 2 and 1. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come unto you, your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a place... And say to the poor, stand thou there or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken my, and, and the Lord's letting you know that you are, that, that, that is an evil thought. That is an evil way to think. And that shows you that these men are wicked men. As the scripture says, among my people are found wicked men. All right. They lay a snare. They catch men. All right. And if it was up to them, they'd, they'd have some of us put to death, man. They'd have us labeled raping us with no victim. You know, uh, yeah, they raped some people and, and no, no, nobody is, uh, was raped. It was a lie. They, they would do that, you know, because these are those wicked niggas coming back for their judgment, by the way, right? Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh power chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? And heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. All right. Yeah. So Yahweh Bashimi al Shai has chosen the poor of the world rich in faith, right? Those that have gathered faith for a treasure, man. Those who have laid up treasure in heaven, man. All right. Where moth and rust doesn't corrupt, where thieves cannot break through and steal. Well, all right, because everything that you got in this world, the Lord's going to use Esau to take it. The Lord's going to take it from you. All right. But he's going to use his left hand to do it. And Esau is the left hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know, whether you guys understand that or not. But he's going to cause Esau to withdraw his left hand. All right. He's going to withdraw from you niggas, man. He's going to take away as why, why they, um, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, they didn't want to 
follow Yahweh Shai said this man would take away our name and our place. All right, because they had status and wealth. All right. Well, that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> you really just prophesied about, you know, and that happened to you then, man. Because when the devil doesn't need you no more, he gets rid of you, man. All right. You know, in 70 AD, man, you know, when the armies came in, man, they weren't trying to make no deals with you niggas. It was up for all you motherfuckers, man. You know? <laughs> How can my beloved brethren have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him? Right. All right. So yeah, that's what that's what it is, man. So we're the ones that are rich, man. You guys are poor, man. If you think that earthly riches is the real riches, then you are sadly mistaken. This dollar is about to collapse and be and come to naught. All right. And, and the only thing left that, that Esau is going to have is for collateral are bodies, slaves, and souls of men, as it says in the uh, the book of Revelations, right? But you have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats, right? Wasn't it rich men that brought us here in slavery? Didn't the small hats fund the transatlantic slave trade? All right. Well, since when has... A, a rich man equaled righteousness, man. Okay? Even the richest king to ever live eventually went off, man. All right? You know? Yeah, when Yahweh Shai comes to reign, that's when, you know, your riches are yours, your thrones is, you don't not, you know, like um, in the book of Ecclesiastes, all right, so, uh, Solomon was lamenting, you know, what if I have to pass my kingdom down to somebody that's going to be a fool, you know, which actually happened, you know, yeah, that's not going to happen in, um, in the kingdom, man. Everything you have, every riches is going to be safely safe. And no Edomite can take it from you, man. Right now, the Esau can come in and take, take you and anything that pertains to you, man, because he's the guy with the gun and he makes the rules right now. This is his kingdom, man. All right. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called? And and you guys have that same mindset, man. You know, saying you can call your how about me, I'll shout out your pay, your play yogurt, man. It don't matter what you call your how about me, I'll shout, man. The scripture says there's no name under heaven whereby we must be saved, man. All right. Scripture talk about how you take away the key key of um wisdom, man. You know, or you shut up the way to the kingdom, man. And that is one of the, that is the key, man. The name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Also walking in it, by the way. Because you got some people who have the name and they're not, when the, it was, it says, in works they deny me, right? Okay. All right. But yeah, man. So yeah, man. <laughs> you know, and Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is not a respective person. He doesn't give a fuck about your FRNs, man. All right, your money perish with you, man. Okay. All right. Because you believe game is godliness, you think the Holy Spirit can be bought with with a dollar bill, man. All right. But yeah, that's a little lesson I want to do. You niggas are broke and we're rich, man. Lord willing, we continue to the end. We're about to cash out, Akia. All right, because we're making a constant investment in something that doesn't depreciate, and that's the truth, man. All right. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is only going to gain value, man, especially as this world decays and it's on a rapid decline out, man. So, yeah, so that's pretty much what I got. Um, you know, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Salutations to you, Akin, presenting this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting yourself as a living sacrifice. Shalom, Kwame Asherah.